Hello, welcome to Xamarin University. My name is Rob Gibbons, and I'm excited to introduce the Xamarin Test Recorder in this lightning lecture. I think that we can all agree that every application and every developer is susceptible to bugs. It happens. Designing, developing, and shipping software is a complex endeavor. There are many reasons that bugs creep into our code. It could be a simple mistake. It could be forgetting to test edge cases. It could be miscommunication between managers and developers about what the features of the app should be. It might even be something that happens long after we've shipped the code. We see apps break all the time when Apple and Google release a new version of their respective operating systems and the APIs change from under us. Working on mobile platforms brings some unique challenges and consequences when our users encounter bugs in their apps that we generally don't see when working on web or desktop applications. First, the competition in the mobile app stores is amazing. There are millions and millions of apps available in the stores. This usually means that no matter how brilliant of an idea you have, there are probably 10 apps already released in the stores that do the exact same thing. And if there aren't, and your app becomes successful, there will be 100 clones within a week. What this means for us as developers is, if we ship our code to our users' devices with a bug or a crash or an exception, it's going to take that user, that customer, all of about 90 seconds and maybe 99 cents to replace us on their device. The cost of replacing an app is close to zero. You get very few chances with the user. You need to make sure that your app is bulletproof. Second, the deployment timelines and scenarios are different. These days, most desktop applications are enterprise apps. If a developer in the enterprise finds a critical bug, it can be fast-tracked out to users as fast as the bureaucracy allows. Web applications are even faster. Because all users are inherently using the latest version of the site, a bug can be fixed and deployed to the servers in a matter of minutes. Mobile apps, on the other hand, are at the mercy of the vendors of the app stores. Both Google and Apple review each app and each update before it's allowed to install on users' devices. And this process can take days or even weeks. Even if you ship a bug to users and find it on the very first day, users might have to deal with that broken app for up to two weeks before you can get a working version out to them. So as we can see, it's imperative that we're able to trust our applications before we ship them out to users. While it may seem reasonable to simply launch the app and manually click, click around, enter text, tap on buttons and such, manual testing is not repeatable and it doesn't scale with the app over time. The only way that we're going to be, be able to really trust the code is to automate the process of testing it. And this is where Xamarin UI Test comes in. Xamarin UI Test is an automated testing library that allows you to directly interact with the user interface for both iOS and Android applications. You can query the UI and find out information about the controls on the screen and use that information in your tests. You can even drive functionality on the screen by entering text or clicking buttons. And it lets you harness the power of the c -sharp language to create readable first-class acceptance tests right in Visual Studio or Xamarin Studio. You can then take those tests and you can run them locally in your simulator or on your physical devices and get the results in the same testing UI that you use for unit tests. To give you an idea of what you can do with the UI test, let's look at the code on the slide. Here we have several commands in code that are being executed against a user interface. We're tapping a button, entering some text into a control, and then tapping the save button. This code is automating the UI so that we don't have to manually perform these steps. The problem here, though, is that we need to write all of this code. When you have a large number of scenarios to test, it can take a very long time to write all of those tests by hand. When we step back and think about it, what we're really trying to do is test the app in the same way that a user would use the app. We have these devices that we can pick up in our hands and interact with. Why can't we just use the app and make that our test? Why can't we have the best of both manual testing and automated testing? Well, now we can. The Xamarin Test Recorder is a new standalone tool that we are incredibly excited to announce as part of our Xamarin 4 release. With the Xamarin Test Recorder, we can use the app just like a user would, either on a device or in a simulator or emulator. 
As we load screens, press buttons, enter text, and navigate throughout the application, the test recorder watches what we do and outputs the C-sharp Xamarin UI test code that we would have had to write ourselves. When we're done recording the test, we can copy the code back into our automated UI test project, or we can even submit the test directly to Xamarin Test Cloud from the test recorder window, and we can run those tests immediately on hundreds of real physical devices. Let's take a look at how we can use Test Recorder to speed up the creation of our UI tests. In order to demonstrate how Test Recorder can simplify our test creation, I'm going to use an app called Task Times, written by Glenn Stevens from Xamarin University. This app runs on both Android and iOS. We'll start here with Android. Now, as you can see here, I'm able to add new jobs to the system and schedule them to repeat in the future. Let's go ahead and add a second job. This one will change to, let's say, two weeks. And now we have a list of jobs. In order for the test recorder to communicate with the app running on the device, we'll need to add the internet permission to the Android manifest. Let's go ahead and add that now. Next, we'll need to publish our APK file. And this is what Test Recorder will grab and install on the device or the emulator for us. Now we're ready to start recording our tests. We'll come down and launch Test Recorder. And the first thing we need to do is to enter our Xamarin Test Cloud API key. To use Test Recorder, you do need to be a valid Test Cloud subscriber. Now, all Xamarin subscribers are Test Cloud subscribers because Xamarin gives you 60 free test cloud minutes each month. Simply click the link you see here, which will open a browser and take us to the test cloud website. On the left side, we'll click Teams and Apps. And here we see the teams that we've set up for our organization. And each team has its own API key. Click the Show API Key link and copy the key and we'll paste it back into Test Recorder. Clicking OK, we'll now launch Test Recorder. At the top left of the screen, we have a dropdown, which will let us choose the simulator, emulator, or device to run the test on. Now for this first test, I'll be choosing my Nexus 4 emulator that I have running on the right side of the screen here. Next, we need to choose the app that we're going to test. Notice that there's only one choice here, which is open. We'll choose that, and I'll select the APK file that I published earlier. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see that it is now connecting to the app. That means Test Recorder is signing the app and publishing it and putting it onto my emulator. We are now connected, and we're ready to start testing. To start recording our test, we simply click the Record button at the top left of the Test Recorder screen. Now we can use the app just like a normal user would. I'll add a new job, and notice how Test Recorder is watching everything I do and automatically writing the appropriate UI test code for us to automate the test in the future. Let's change this new job. We'll change that to defrag disk. Let's change the weeks to 10 days. And we'll click Save. And I'll go ahead and add another job here. and click Save again. That's about enough for this test. I'll go ahead and click Stop now. And let's explore what Test Recorder gives us. On the left side of the application, we have a graphical view of the recorded test. And this gives us a really easy way to change the controls that we're working with, change the parameters for the test steps, or even remove steps completely. We also can decide if we want screenshots for each step along the way. 
On the right side of the application, Test Recorder gives us the C-sharp output for the test. This is the code that we would have had to write ourselves without Test Recorder. We now have a few options of what we want to do with these results. For example, we could come up to the top of the Test Recorder window and press the Run button, and then we could watch the test execute to verify that everything is how we want it. We could even change the parameters right here in the Test Recorder window if we wanted. We could also click the Export button, and we could choose to copy this output into our UI test project in our solution. And this makes the test part of our ever-growing test suite that will be checking our app prior to publishing it to the App Store. Lastly, we could click the Export button, and we could send this test directly to Test Cloud. And we could choose to run this test on potentially hundreds of devices. When you choose that, you can see down in the bottom left, we are uploading the files to Xamarin Test Cloud. This will then open our browser, allow us to choose the devices that we want to run on, and we'll run in Test Cloud on those devices. Let's switch over to iOS now. The first thing we need to do is run the app on the iOS simulator. This will give us a .app file in our bin folder. That .app file is the file that we're going to specify to the test recorder. We can choose the iOS simulator from the drop down here, or you can choose any of the other simulators as well. And then in the app drop down, we'll choose open in order to select our .app file. And we'll go to that bin debug folder for our application, and we'll choose the .app. This will load the application onto the simulator launch it, and now we can record our test for iOS in the same way that we did for Android. Now let's review the requirements for using Xamarin Test Recorder. First, we need to be a Xamarin Test Cloud subscriber and have a Test Cloud API key. We're only going to target iOS and Android at the moment. For Android, we need to make sure we add the internet permission to our Android manifest, and we need to target Android 4.3 or higher. For iOS, we'll need to ensure that our application is targeting iOS 8 or higher. Being able to trust that our code is going to work without exceptions before we install it on our user's devices is extremely important, and automated tests are an excellent way to build that trust into our development lifecycle. Manually writing tests can be slow, though. Xamarin Test Recorder is a great way to quickly and easily add automated tests to our apps. Thank you, and happy coding!